Hi guys, Steph here, and for my first video ever, I want to do a bookshelf tour. Um, I've been watching a lot of booktubers recently, and I just really want to become a part of that community. And I know I don't exactly have a full bookshelf, but bear with me and let's get started. This is pretty much just an overview of what the entire shelf looks like. Um, Right down here, there's some doors that open to more shelves, and I just like to keep other things in there aside from books. I mainly keep my books on the top two shelves. And top shelf, I mainly have books that are in a series together or companion novels by the same author. We can start off with the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer, starting with Twilight, New Moon, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, which was a companion novel for the series, then Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Then I have the first two books in the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick, Hush Hush and Crescendo. Then I have the completed Shiver trilogy by Maggie Stiefvater with Shiver, Linger, and Forever. Next I have the completed Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins. Then that starts off with The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Next to that, I have the first two books in the 13 to Life series by Shannon Delaney. And these books are 13 to Life and Secrets and Shadows. Next to that, I have the first two books in the Sh Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, City of Bones and City of Ashes. Then I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which happens to be my favorite book. Then I have companion novels by Jennifer Eccles, Forget You and Going Too Far, and then Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson. Basically, the second shelf just has standalones and books that I've bought for school. Some of these books are firsts in a series that I've never really continued. My, over here I have my giant bookmark. Then I have my copy of Match by Ali Condi. Then next to it I have Delirium by Lauren Oliver and Fallen by Lauren Kate. Next to the Fallen, I have The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Then I have Beautiful Creatures by Margaret Stoll and Cami Garcia. Next to that, I have Kiss by an Angel by Danielle Chandler and Shade by Jerry Smith and Reddy. Then I have If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Over here is my school pile, and it starts off with The Twelfth Night by Shakespeare, Tangerine by Edward Bloor, Monster by Myers, of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, How Soccer Explains the World, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, In the Time of the Butterflies, Brave New World, The Handmaid's Tale, and The Taming of the Shoe. Next to this, I also have a copy of Midnight Memories by One Direction, a joke book called Feminist Ryan Gosling, I have an eye makeup book called Eye Candy by Lisa Linda Mason, whoops, and a DIY, DIY nail art book, <laughs> sorry. Then I have Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk. I have a guide on beading and making jewelry. A coloring book from Ryan Gosling. And over here I have stashed some loose photos that are stored away and I don't really know where else to put them. So they end up right over here third shelf is mainly just a bunch of fillers and knickknacks and some picture and over here I have my etch-a-sketch I have a gazillion bubbles a painted ceramic snake the next to the snake I have um, this little container that used to have a unicorn on top but I dropped it so now it's a horse behind that I have my copy of To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee Moby Dick by Herman Melville and a picture of myself Next to that, I have another painted ceramic piece. This one's a container of a butterfly. Um, next to that, I have this weird toy. It's supposed to be a trick. Um, I have some old-fashioned Coca-Cola bottles and a Fanta bottle. Um, next to that, I have a container full of bookmarks and just some field day ribbons. And then lastly, I have this mason jar full of chalk. And... Basically, I have the chalk because the door to my bedroom was converted into a chalkboard, so I like to keep that next to the door so I can easily write anything that I need to.
I open the shelf doors, I have my fourth shelf, and here I have my camera bag with an old-fashioned film camera, some little wax figurines from museums, I have some shelves back here, I don't really know why, I have a bunch of card decks, and behind that I have some old Pokemon cards that I used to collect, um, I have another wax figurine, and then I have this weird little puzzle toy, then I have this jar of sand and this is from my first ever beach volleyball tournament then I have this conch shell that you know you can hear the ocean through I have a French dictionary autograph book from Disney a poetry booklet called they're poets and they know it some other booklet about scriptology and this last one and I think it has to do with court laws and that's it here on my fifth shelf, I have a bunch of school things and some dictionaries. I have over here a copy of the Constitution. Then next to that, I have this Webster's notebook, and I think it's a Spanish dictionary. There we go. Then I have this copy of the body book for girls, and this thing is hilarious. That's the only reason I still have it. I have a Spanish everyday learning book, and then in between all this, I have this little booklet, and it's for my coin collections, because I like to collect quarters. Then I have a yearbook for all four years of high school. And then I have these folders, and um, it's just full of, like, random things I wanted to hold on to from high school. Uh, I have my... Um, I have my photography notebook, and then over here I have this flute that my friend brought for me from the Bahamas. Then I have this origami set and these nice scissors, artistic scissors. And I have a bunch of artsy little coloring books and craft books, and I'm not really going to show them all to you, but that's pretty much it. I have Cranium, Life, Monopoly, Candyland, Picturica, Mancala, Jenga, and a glass chess set and that pretty much sums up my entire bookshelf and that's it. I forgot to include that I have a copy of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green on my Kindle app and now I'm done.